welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One, here to inspire and empower your wig journey. Today we're going to talk about a Raquel Welch style. It's been out for a year or two, but this is the first time that I have experienced it. I'm really excited to share it with you today. This is Simmer Elite by Raquel Welch in the color Shaded Biscuit. All the details coming up. I purchased the style with my own funds from Wig Studio One. If you drop below this video and expand the description box, there will be a product link there labeled uh, Raquel Welch Simmer Elite. If you click on that link, you'll be able to look at all of the colors, the prices, and order directly from there. We have We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One if you have any questions for us. Please don't hesitate to reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. Some of you are going to ask me, Taz, what did you do to simmer to make it look so cute? I did absolutely nothing. This is literally right out of the box. The only thing I did was make a small adjustment to this cap to accommodate my petite average circumference. I did not shake it. I did not rake it. I did not style it. This is exactly the way it comes. It's still in its weave pattern there at the front. So we've gotten to the point where it's out of the box and on my head. So now we're gonna talk about this lovely style. So Simmer is a mid-length, long bob style with a tousled curl all over. And this is in a completely hand-tied version called Simmer Elite. And we're gonna check out this cap here in just a moment. But let's run down the specs for Simmer Elite. If you're familiar with Simmer, these should be identical in style and in measurements to the original Simmer. So right in the front, we're looking at about 11 and a half inches, right off of that hairline. I'm six and a half from hairline to chin, so it stretches well below that and below my collarbone. In the back, we're looking at about an 11 to 12 inch length all the way around. Now, Simmer does not have an angular cut, but those sides do make it kind of appear that way, just a gentle angle here, because they're so long there in the front. There's about a nine inch layer on the side, so there is some variable layering here, but that's almost masked and disguised by this beautiful curl. Sometimes with curly styles, it's a little harder to discern those layers. Simmer Elite weighs just over four ounces, so it's very lightweight. It features a temple to temple extended lace front, a single hand tied monofilament top, and a hand tied cap. So first, this is the shaded biscuit color. I think I've talked this color to death. <laughs> It is one of my very favorite colors in the whole world and has been for quite a number of years. It still is my favorite Raquel Welch color. This is RL 1923. It's a combination of some sandy blonde, uh, some warmer sandy blonde tones in there, and then some honey, which is more neutral, but um, you're really picking up on those beautiful, bright, profuse platinum highlights. This makes this a really cool blonde, although it's very dimensional because it does have a mixture of some warm and cool. And then all of that is on a medium brown root. Okay, and I think this rooting is done very well on this one. Um, the shadows can be emphasized on the camera. So this may not be as dark as what it may appear on the camera, uh, but I think it transitions very well into the color. So I'm still a Shaded Biscuit fan. Let's check it out then. This is the lace front. Okay, so we do have some heavy banding of that platinum run right up to the lace front. There's no seams to be seen because there, this cap is just impeccable. It's a fine grid. It's a soft lace material that hugs the head. And then this is a full single hand-tied monofilament top that's going to create a lot of versatility in your styling. You can style it uh, in any direction and still get the illusion of scalp there. And I don't think it's too thickly threaded to, uh, to obscure that lace front eye or the mono part. I think you're really gonna be able to see down in to the illusion of scalp no matter how you want to part it. 
Now, right out of the box, and, and this is very typical, it's typically parted a little bit left of center right from the factory. Now, this can be changed, but just be aware that if you do change it from that left of center to maybe, let's say, a wider part, even right of center, um, it may take a little bit of work to train it into that position because it's been laying like this for quite a, a long time. So the hallmark and the beauty and identity of this style is its curl. So it just looks like curling iron curls all the way around, some going this way, some going this way, and they've been gently deconstructed with your fingers and it gives a nice tousled look. Now I really love this curl just the way it is, but it could be brushed out. You could even use heat on this style to make it a more of a smooth look because this is the True to Life Fiber by Raquel Welch, which is heat friendly. You could take a flat iron to it. Um, just remember when you change the structure of the style with heat, it's going to stay that way until you take heat to change it again. Um, so if you straightened all of this out and then washed your wig, it's going to dry straight, okay, as you had it before. It's not like a human hair wig that bounces back um, into its original pattern. So you would have to take heat to uh, actually change it again. I don't know why you'd ever want to do that. There's plenty of straight styles out there on the market. And this one just happens to have a very beautiful curl pattern. It's not quite a beach wave. We've, we've seen that tousled, shattered beach wave look. This one, uh, the, the curls are a little softer, a little more intact than a beach wave. This is a completely light density. There's not a whole lot of fiber here and it's completely void of any permatease. Remember, this is a hand tied cap and there's no permatease on this style. And that gives it a nice low, slim profile and a very realistic look. So discussing price, this Simmer Elite, which is the completely hand-tied version of Simmer, is approximately 480 US dollars as of the date of this filming, and prices are ever-changing. Um, and the regular Simmer, which features a lace front, full monofilament top, and then is open wefted sides and back, is around $403. So approximately $70 to $80 difference uh, for the completely hand-tied cap. Now the hand tied cap is also going to deliver just a little bit of a slimmer profile because no permatease is needed. Plus the, the way they have to sew that into the wefting, um, they use a little bit of a different process. And I think the density is a little higher also on that simmer, just the regular simmer. So the next thing I'm gonna do here is just do a quick spin in indoor and outdoor light for you. We're gonna take an in-depth look at this cap and then we're going to do some styling. So I've left it just like this, right out of the box so that we can see it come to life in the styling segment. Inside look at the cap for Raquel Welch's Simmer Elite, a completely hand-tied cap. You'll see at the front an extended lace front, beautifully contoured, hand-tied, no visible seams at the front hairline. There is a seam that adjoins the lace front with a single hand-tied monofilament top. Nice illusion of scalp through those monofilament features. There is a closed velvet lined ear tab with a nice long sturdy stay. An extended felted nape with Velcro style adjusters and then you have some hand tied panels. You will see some integrated wefting on the sides and the back just to give some additional support to this cap. Here's an example and look at the cluster knots in those hand tied panels. This is a very nice low density style with very fine fiber. 
So I think this wig is just nearly perfect right out of the box with no styling needed. I didn't even need to shake it out and kind of swirl, but I am going to do that here. I kind of want to bring it to life a little more because I want to break up the curls a little more, maybe make them slightly more fluffy, and then I'll work uh, out that part a little bit more as well. Let's try with glasses. Glasses fit beautifully between the ear and the ear tab on the style. There's absolutely no permatease and a very low density all the way around. Definitely plays nice with full-time glasses. So what I have here is just a wide tooth comb. Uh, this and the heat from my hands is pretty much the only thing I use on my heat-friendly styles. Um, this is sufficient to break up the part, to fluff it out a little bit, uh, to work out tangles if you're looking at a maintenance of a heat-friendly style. Uh, but the wide tooth comb is going to deliver less friction on these fibers compared to something like a brush or a finer tooth comb. So let's go ahead and break up that part. It's very hard for me to see um, in the camera. So let's see if it can be done. Typically what I'll do is I'll just take the comb like this and just run it back. Did that break that up? I can't really tell. <laughs> um, it appears so, doesn't it? Boy, that was easy, almost too easy. I'm wondering if I got it. <laughs> um, now this wig does not come with any kind of lift at the front. And that is consistent with, I think, most simmers because it has been true on all of the simmers that I have had. Um, no lift at the front. It's meant to hug the head all the way around. So what I'm gonna do here is just swirl a little bit. Wow, that just feels like I'm touching my scalp. Just swirl a little bit to set the fiber free. Even the hand-tied fibers need a little bit of working swirling at the cap to loosen those knots up just enough to give them independent movement. And again, I'm just gonna pick and fluff. Boy, this, this comb just absolutely glides through this hair. It's very soft in its texture, very soft velvety touch. And I don't know how much more I wanna do here. I don't really want to break it up at the bottom. And that's all I think I want to do uh, to wake it up. I mean, it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Now I could always take a squirt of water and scrunch back in some of that definition there at the curl, but I like the more brushed out look at the crown. It's a smooth crown until you get about halfway down and then it has the choppy curl. Okay, so let's try. I know the ear tuck's gonna be great. Heck yes. There's no permatease, low density. Ear tucks look completely natural. And it should not be hard to keep that behind the ear at all. And it's cute. Obviously we can work at uh, keeping this you know, away from the face a lot, just because of that beautiful lace front. So let's try that. Curls are just so cute and easy to work with. I love curl all times of the year. I think they're especially cute in the summer though. It just, there's something really flirty and casual and fun about curl. And this kind of curl, everybody can love, really. If you are a, a fan of straight hair, this just looks like you went in and put a slight curling iron to it. Um, if you love really curly hair, this just looks like maybe you've loosened it. It's those really super curly tight ringlets that are hard to break up that people uh, that don't care for curl want to avoid. But this is the perfect curl universally. I think it would be cute if I just did a little twist. <laughs> Don't talk with your asshole. <laughs> but you, I think you get the idea here. I 
A braid or a twist there would be super cute, wouldn't it? A square bands would look amazing. I will not be without my square bands. It's very easy just to take this out of your purse. These beautiful hinges, they just fold up and you can put them in your purse or handbag. And when you're ready or when you need them, pull it out and stick it in there like so. And your the hair is immediately out of your face if you need to do some task work. I'm used to doing that anyway because I need to always, I'm always whipping out my reader glasses <laughs> at my age. I always need those readers. And so I'm always taking them out of my purse. This would be no different um, if I just want the hair out of my face very easily. This is a great solution. And it's super cute. There's a number of ways you can wear your square bands. You can pull it all away from the face completely. You can pull out little sections there just to drop down some tendrils. It's almost like a little instant updo. And then now let's try um, a pony. So at this length, this is probably the shortest length. Um, I'm sorry, the yeah, the shortest length that you can get some sort of ponytail out of. Let's go ahead and, so I'm just gonna use this pressure clip here to create a low ponytail because we still want to obscure that wig line. How cute is that? So on Simmer, again, you're not going to get much volume. You're not gonna get any lift and glam volume. That's really not the identity of this style. So thank you for joining me today for a look at Simmer Elite in the color Shaded Biscuit. Check it out at Wig Studio One. All of the links are below. We'll see you again real soon on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.